Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, we're gonna be covering how to create an email script on ServiceNow. Now let's go ahead and head over to our favorite table, the incident table, and we'll describe our use case. Okay, so on the incident table, we have this field called parent. And on that field, uh, what we're going to be doing is we want to be able to send a notification to the caller anytime the parent field changes. And within the parent field, we wanna be able to send them the risk of the change that is associated with the parents. Now, how we're gonna do that is, let's go ahead and head over to the email notifications. I think it's just under notifications. Uh, yep, there we go. So under system notifications, email, and the notifications module. Okay, let's go ahead and create our new notification. And we'll call it YouTube test for the table. You guys just saw we're doing it on the incident table. Category, we can just select community for now. Okay, and as I just mentioned, we want this to happen anytime a new record is inserted or updated on the incident table. And our condition is that the parent field changes. So it changes either from nothing to something or from something to something else. Now, you wouldn't actually use this use case in the real world. You'd have to um you'd have to do something uh, a little bit extra you know just to indicate that it is a change and not uh, another type of task that is being used for the parent because obviously if they're using like a request for the parent or um another incident as the parent then it's not going to have a risk level so you know this is just a hypothetical obviously okay so let's go over to our who will receive it you can see our condition is set so who will receive it and we already mentioned that the caller will receive it. So we selected the caller. We're good on that. And now what it will contain. So let's go ahead and change the layout. So we'll do employee notification template. And then we'll put the parent on blank has changed. And the blank will be the incident number. So need the number. Okay, then we'll go ahead and add to our body the parents on the has changed. The risk level for the parent is, and then right here will be our reference to our email script that we'll create in a moment. Let's go ahead and say what we got so far. Okay, good to go. Let's head back over to all. And we'll search email script. You can see it's under system notifications. We have the notification email scripts module. And then these are all our existing email scripts. Let's go ahead and create a new one. And we'll call this parent risk. And then within our function, let's go ahead and do our template. Oops, I know how to spell. Temp, 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 temp. Template.print. And then we're going to do current. So we're going to look at the current record. We're going to get the display value of, oops, of the parent field. Then we'll dot walk over to risk. So what we're doing is we're printing the current incident parent field. Within the parent field, we're looking for risk. Oops, and we need another, there we go. Okay, uh, as I was saying, so what we're doing is we're getting the, the display value of the parent field, and within the parent field, we're looking at the risk field, so we're getting the display value. So if we didn't get the display value, we, we would just see like one, two, or three, you know, depending on what the risk level is. But because we're getting the, the display value, we'll get high, moderate, or low, I believe are the three risk options. And that little, uh, error that you saw was because I was probably using mix of tabs and spaces. So uh, you just select this, it'll reformat your code and get rid of those uh, formatting errors. Okay, we have it saved. So now what we need to do is we need to reference the scripts over here. And to do that, gotta add your dollar sign, curly brace. Within the curly brace, you need to do mail underscore script, colon, and then the name of the email script, 
our case it's parent risk. Then you close it with another curly brace. And what we're going to do too is we're going to make it red. So it really stands out. Cool. And we're going to bolt it too, because why not? All right. Looks good. So now what we need to do is we need to test it. So we're going to test it um, on here using pre preview, bleh, preview notification. And then we'll actually create an incident record and see if it works on there as well. OK, so you can see referencing the uh, ink ending in 9009, it, it, it says the risk level for the parent is high. So to validate that, we can look at the parent. And preview it and you can see the risk for the parent is high. Now the reason we didn't just select it from the variable picker here is you're going to see it's not even available. So let's go to parents and I think it's because it's a choice field. Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, but we already expanded it. But if you see we scroll down under parents there's not a risk option. So the script allows us to get it because we weren't able to select it through the variable picker. All right, so we've seen that it's working through preview. That is great, but the real test is to make sure that the notification is even firing off. So uh, one of two things we could do here, we can either just change this parent, simply change the parent, or we can actually just go ahead and create a new incident, which I will do here in a second. So let's do that now. Incident.do. Okay, we'll select Able Tutter. Make sure if Able Tutter has an email, we just saw it. And test. Then we need to fill in the parents. Make sure this one has a risk so that we see that on the email notification, and it does. So if the email notification fires off, when we go to our outbox, it should show the risk as high. Okay, outbox. And that was at 919, 719, sorry. And let's see. Yep. So it says the parents on 100002 has changed. The risk level for the parent is high. And that is the number for our new incident that we just created. And you can see that it is showing the risk level as high. So again, this is kind of a, a very obscure use case, but um, hopefully this taught you guys the concepts of how to create um, at least pretty simple email scripts, and then you can go ahead and use this for whatever your use case is. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you all in the next video very soon.